Three years ago, Josh went to jail right after he found out he was expecting a baby with his girlfriend, Jen. And when he got released two weeks early, he wanted to surprise her. But instead, he was in for a surprise when he found out another man was living in his house. And it wasn't just any man. It was his childhood best friend. Jen not only moved him in, but she named her baby after him and had him sign the birth certificate. What's going on? Hi, Steve. Well, I um, made a decision that I am now regretting. Um, you know, the reasons why I did it, I'm going to explain to you now. Josh and I met. We pretty much got pregnant right away a few weeks later. And he wasn't good to me when we were together either. Um, and then he went to jail. I was alone and pregnant. So you were sleeping with a guy that, in the very beginning, that wasn't very good to you? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. We pretty much do... met and just... Why, yeah. did, why did you do that, though? Yeah. I don't know. We slept together. I, I was. I just liked him from the first second I, I saw him. But he wasn't nice to you. At first he was, but then once he started staying with me and I started seeing his ways, it. What it, What didn't you like? Him coming home at two in the morning, three in the morning, four, not coming home at all. I mean, just. Yeah. yeah. That's why you need to get to know each other before those. You're exactly happen. right. Yeah. Yep. Hundred percent agree with that. So I um, was alone and pregnant. Like three months later, this guy started coming into my work, and he started coming in every day to my work. And we started talking, and we started hanging out. Um, this guy had a very big heart. He was a very nice guy. He was super nice to me. Like I loved talking with him. We talked for four, five, six hours straight, just talk. Um, so I let him come stay with me. And um, Josh gets out of jail, and um, he came to my house, and. I said I wasn't impressed with the way that you were before you went to jail, and I. But he says when he gets out of jail, he comes over to the house, and you're laying in bed with this guy. I don't know where he's getting that from. Okay. So that's not true. No. Okay. I was at work when he came to my house, and I came from work and met him there. When you see him standing. Unless at your he house. was outside my windows at some point in time, and maybe we were watching a movie. I don't know how much. But were he was you freaked out me. that he just showed up? No, I knew he was on his way. I got a call at right. work that he was on his Thank way. Thank God, right? <laughs> so he, he came home, and I, I sat him down, and I said, listen, you weren't good to us when you were here before. I said, um, if you can go ahead and show me you can do the right thing, I, I'll take you back. But I can't be like it was before. I can't deal with that. Um, so that was that. He left. Were you sleeping with the other guy? We slept together once in the beginning. That's it. He's staying in the same house with you. You're sleeping in the same well, bed? Yeah, I mean, our mutual agreement was because he, he was very ill. But you're staying he in the bed. I know, but you're staying in the bed. No, no, we slept on the couch bed separate. I mean, I didn't, I didn't really go in the bedroom. He, okay. stayed, so only one he time. took over my bedroom. So only one time. We slept sleep together only one time. Yes, in the beginning. I don't believe it, but I'll, I'll go along. <laughs> <laughs> he was too sick to have sex. He really couldn't, even if he wanted to. Okay. When you had your baby, you put this guy's name on the birth certificate. Okay, so when he got out of jail and I asked him to do the right thing, he went out and did the complete opposite of what I asked him to do. He slept with every girl in town. He did all the drugs he can get his hands on. Um, and then he spread, spread rumors that he was going to try to take my son from me, take custody of my son. They already had lawyers after me, him and his family. And I heard nothing but bad things about Josh, like bad rumors, bad things. So I figured if I put Joe on the birth certificate that um, he couldn't, Come trying to take my kid from me. And you named your son after the other guy. Mm -hmm. It was kind of one of his last dying wishes. Who cares? I, I, mean, I, shouldn't have done, I shouldn't have done it. I mean, I'm not I trying to that. sound cruel, but I mean, it's not his kid. Well, it gives a damn what he wants. I know, but I was trying. <laughs> I mean, what I, was, about, I thought I was what protecting what, my but son. But what about Josh? It's his baby. Well, Josh is being a jerk. I didn't think Josh cared. I didn't hear from him for the next three months. I know he's being a jerk, but you laid down with the jerk and got pregnant by I know. Him. You're right. So it turns out this other guy was Josh's childhood best friend. I had no idea. None at all. This other guy, all he, he said... He didn't say anything? The no. guy didn't say anything? No. The guy said that Josh was the devil and to stay away from him. That's the only thing he ever said about Josh. So how was I supposed to know they were best friends? So you and Josh are together now? Yes. They are. The guy that's such a bad guy, he's such a jerk. He's not the same guy anymore. He's been an angel. I mean, dinner's been on the table every night. An Dish angel. Is done. Dish is done. What, is he, what does he make? Clean the house. What do you mean? For dinner? Yeah. Oh, I love his meatloaf. That's really good. I, mean, I, I can make meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help.
Uh, you said the relationship's great. It is. And then you and Josh are going to get married someday. We will, as long as this stops. Because I have to mention the other gentleman's name all the time. And every time I do, I just see his Well, because expression. his son's named after him. Mm. Yeah. So every time you call your son, he's here. Yes, I know. Him. And it's really it's becoming an issue in our relationship. Yeah, <laughs> I would think so. So I need to fix this. <laughs> OK. I made a mistake. Why don't you just change your son's name? Well, we're going to, but we need a DNA test. Oh. Because the DNA test, then you're going to go fix everything. Yes, then we're going to try to fix everything. All right, well, let's meet your boyfriend, Josh. <laughs> did you, you don't really? Seem very happy, Josh. No, but did you really have to say that he's your best friend? Like I knew he was your best friend. What do you mean? We had conversations on the phone in jail. And you act like you you, you were an me angel. Every you day. Like you, you told angel. me you loved me two days. Did you not I got spread out? a rumor that you guys were going to come try take my son when I had him? Did oh you not God. spread that rumor? I didn't spread you did a rumor. Spread a I rumor. said something to somebody and it went overboard. You said it in front of him on purpose because you knew he was going to come and tell me. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. This is this is partly your fault. This isn't just okay, all my fault. Okay, it's all my fault. I'll take responsibility. I I I I know better than arguing with you. It's fine. So I heard you make great meatloaf. Yeah. <laughs> I can cook. Yeah. yeah. Um, when you're in jail and you get out and, you know, the other guy who you were childhood friends with, he's laying up in bed, you know, he's living your life. What do you mean we were laying in bed together? Were you outside my windows? You know I was. What the hell is wrong with you? this conversation. I am asking. I Just like when the cops came Every and arrested time... him, I was on the roof, and you knew that. Yeah, I, I called the cops on him one night, and the other man ended up getting arrested, okay? <laughs> and I was on the roof of your shed. Yeah, watching. I knew I heard him, but the cops couldn't find him. You were on the roof of the shed. Yeah, because yeah, when I, I called stupid. the cops, I said, I know he's out oh, there. Oh, so you were hiding. Yes, yeah. he was hiding. They looked on, on the shed. ground, I was above him. And every time I opened my door, I tried to look out my doors, there he was standing at the end of the road. I Listen, I was nine months pregnant, yeah, they okay? Find me. And at like 11 o'clock at night, he must have been in the window, came around the side of the house and started banging on my door like he was gonna come through it. But I hear a girl's voice saying, let me in, let me in. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> so I, I called the cops. And when the cops come, they arrest the other guy because he had a warrant and you were on the shed. So <laughs> that's what happened that night. <laughs> Um, so when you find out that oh, this Lord. other guy's name's on the birth certificate, that she names him after him, how did you feel about that? Upset. Yeah. And, but now you're in love. I've loved her from day one. And even during all this, I still love her. Yeah. But now when you see your son, and he's a, he's a beautiful little boy, um, does it bother you that he's named after this other guy that was sleeping with her? Well, would it bother you? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Then. Yeah. I mean, that's common sense, yeah? Yeah. But I would say, And I truly feel bad ya. about that. I honestly didn't do it to hurt you. I didn't do it to hurt anybody. I thought I was protecting my son. I didn't know you and your family. You know all the bad rumors out there about I you know. and your family. I know. And you spread rumors that it was going to happen. So, I mean, really? I didn't spread rumors. I said, my mom has a lawyer. That's all I said. Yeah. And yeah. then if I have to, I'll go there. And then somebody took it way farther than it needed to go, and you know it. So you're here today to really determine if it's actually your biological child. Yes. What if it's not? I don't know. So you might stay, even if not, because I'm I sure. I love with everything. It doesn't matter yeah. about that. Honestly, and I'm it doesn't sure you probably have a little bond with the little guy, right? That's my man. Right. Like, he's Baby's with me 24/7. This this two days without him is driving me nuts. Well, let's find out. Oh, and if it's yours, are you gonna go and change his name and birth yeah. certificate and everything? Yeah. All right, let's find out. Are you nervous? Yes, very much. You said Why? you had no doubt. You shouldn't be nervous at all if it's mine. It is yours. What are you worried it's about? It's yours. I know he's mine, so just say it. Uh, Josh, you came here, took a DNA test, and the results of that DNA test is that, Josh, you are the father. <laughs> about happy no uh, now we got to rectify the rest of it will you be happy then he's never going to be happy it doesn't matter i don't know about being happy but, but I'll he's be never going to be happy but you, this is the guy you're going to marry yep he's <laughs> never going to be happy <laughs> are you ever going to be happy i'm always happy every day i see him right. when i get there happy the mouth with a bottle <laughs> thanks for coming out thank you very nice much you. Thank nice you. Good luck to you. click here to watch more wilco's click here to subscribe and get a front row seat 
for all the action 